Amen? Amen. Psalms uh, 26 and 2 says, we about finished. Lord, cross examine me. Test my motives and my what? Affections. Affections. Fiction. Affections. Alright? Help me out. Amen. Lord, examine me. Test my motives and my affections. How, what I, affection means what? My feelings. <laughs> Amen. So I really said, test my motives and my feelings. How I really feel. Lord, cough examine me. Amen. Amen. Well, somebody, if you're in the courtroom, somebody cough examine you, or oh, they come and let you get the truth out of you. Amen. Want to say amen? amen? They know the truth, they want it out of you. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. But well, we're going to ask God to do it to us. And God will be this morning. <laughs> and now he got me up in front of all y'all telling the truth. It is being recorded. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For the world to see. Amen. But see, it's okay because I don't mind being tested by the Lord because I know He loves me. Amen. And it will motivate me, uh, some of the road, to get myself together. Amen. So when I come here on Sunday, I will be prepared. Amen. Totally prepared to minister you in a class way uh -huh. that will add value to you. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. To all preachers, praise God. Amen. If a preacher, you can tell when a preacher, praise God, is trying to add value to you. Are they trying to entertain you? Come on, say amen. That's one thing that God has delivered me from, trying to entertain the people of God. Mm -hmm. Opposed to adding value to them. Mm -hmm. amen? amen? Now, uh, Job 15 and 12 says, uh, uh, El Paz uh, asked Job, why has your heart carried you away and why do your eyes flash? In other words, he said, uh, why are you sitting looking all crazy? Yeah, the eye looking all crazy. You ever see, you ever know somebody where they all caught in the feeling, they the eye crazy, eye looking all crazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I telling the truth? Amen. Can you tell when somebody all caught in that feelings? Mm -hmm. I, I think that, I think that, I think that. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. Am I telling the truth? Yes, yeah, man. You be like a different person, don't they? Yep. Why it has your heart carried you away? And why do your eyes flag? So why are you looking at me like you know? Have you asked about you like you be crazy? Uh -huh. All the time. Yes. All the time. Like, <laughs> this is what Job was asking. This is what the man that I was asking. Job said, Why are you sitting there looking all crazy? Why you all? Why you feeling you all caught up in your feelings? Talking all that, that mess. You got your eyes all this, your eyes rolling up back the head, head swagging, neck doing all kinds of stuff. And then, pretty God, now they got the thing with the top of the head. And you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They sure do. Why, why, why are you doing all this? Why are you caught up like that? Mm. Ask yourself, what's the real reason I feel this? I'm feeling this. Why are you really feeling this? <laughs> Is it true? Some of the thought that we are feeling is not true. Amen. Amen. Oh, Tyler, I don't know if I can make it. Then. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Amen. Amen. I can't go to work today. You got $10,000, everybody show up today. <laughs> you will show up in your pajamas. <laughs> you better say it, Apostle. No, okay. With your rag on your head. <laughs> hey, brush your teeth. $10,000, I'm here. Amen. <laughs> Is it true? So you gotta ask yourself, is it true? Amen. What I'm dealing with. Amen. Amen. Is it true? Uh, is it helping, helping or hurting me? Being stressed out after this morning, it wasn't helping me. I'm 59 years old. I gotta get out of that stress. I don't need that stress. Okay, all right. Some of you older folk will wake up. You don't need that stress. Amen. Amen. You don't need depression like that. Amen. Amen. Your heart ain't strong as it used to be. Nope. Amen now. Amen. Your body can't take that mess. Amen. You don't eat like you used to eat. Yeah. You don't get shot like you used to exercise. Uh, you can't run like you used to run. Amen. Amen now. Amen. It'll, it'll, it'll tear you up. Yeah. You wonder why you be hurting. Come <laughs> on, say amen. amen. Your amen. feeling will get you messed up. Amen. 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 You know you can't be up at 2 o'clock in the morning like you used to. <laughs> and then you don't go to work and we do what's right. Okay. Amen. Amen now. You can't hang up these things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is it helping or hurting me? Amen. Amen. Even you young people, pray God. Some of y'all just go down. Amen. Amen. All this. 
What about Sonia? All this talking to people four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> amen. Yeah, you dead one, one or two, three o'clock. No. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. Then you wonder why you can't still sleep in school. Is it helping or hurting you? <laughs> Change it. Flip to two and five. I'm about to finish. Your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not my will, but thy will be thy will. Yeah. Zechariah 4 and 6 says, You will not succeed by your own strength or power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord all powerful. It's by God's spirit that you're going to make it. Somebody say amen. amen. You are going to revitalize the project in this year mm -hmm. by the spirit of God. Amen. It's not going to be by your feelings. Amen. It's not going to be by your knowledge, amen. but by the power of God. Amen. 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 That's why you're asking of God, God, Give me your Holy Spirit. Let it rest in my life. Amen. Let me yield myself to the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God will help you. Amen. God will give you the Holy Spirit to help you get the job done and if not when you dance and shout and run around the church. Amen. To help you live for God. Somebody say amen. amen. Now I know that when you obey God, yeah, you can dance. You will dance. You will rejoice. Mm -hmm. But it won't be the fake stuff they're doing now. Amen. amen. This practice stuff. Prepare stuff. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 I said this last night, I'm going to say it again. Don't no man walk around with no handkerchief in the way and stuff. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. It ain't God. Amen. All right? Well, they see somebody else showing out, they run over there and get next to them to do it to show out too. Mm -hmm. That's that's abomination, some of that stuff. And move on. Must so move on, Master Heaven. Move on, move on. Enjoy every day. Ask God to fill you with His Spirit. Amen. Let's do it right now, Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Fill, us fill us with Your Spirit. With your spirit. Fill me up, Lord. Let it all flow. Let it all flow. I'll give you my hand praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, listen, Father. Twenty three, twenty three says, "When the Holy Spirit controls your life, yes. He will produce the kind of fruit in us." Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, glad, gentleness, and self what? Control. Some of the stuff that we are doing in the church, the church is out of control. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit of God is not producing that mess. Are y'all hearing me today? Amen. Now, let's read it together. Galatians 5. See, this is your backup right here. Galatians 5, 22, 23. It tells you what the Holy Spirit will produce in your life. Amen. Some of the stuff the church are doing, it is not God. Amen. 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 This is what God, see, see, the, see, the Spirit of God wants you to under self-control. Now the church will do whatever it feels like doing. Amen. And now we don't want to hurt people's feelings, we let them do whatever they want to do. Uh -huh. Amen. And we don't say nothing. Well, you know why preachers don't say nothing? They doing the same thing. Amen. 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 Galatians 5, 22, 23 says, Let's read, when the Holy Spirit controls your lives, he will produce this kind of fruit in us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Don't tell me you because you feel it, you do it. Sure. Don't tell me you come to church and do whatever you feel. Amen. Amen. God will give you self control. Amen. Don't tell me we couldn't get to the word because we were shot from it. No. God gives you self control. Amen. 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 Every day, ask God to help me manage my mouth. Amen. If you're going to walk around and do this right here, <laughs> and all people hear it, Amen. Pray to God, manage your mouth. Amen. If you see yourself getting in trouble and you want to say, Amen. And don't say it. Amen. 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 Ask God to help me manage my mouth. Because all things that come out your mouth is what you feel. Amen. You, it makes you think it and then you say it. Amen. How many say, Whoop, I didn't mean it like that? Amen. Yes, you did. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Because out, out, out of the bottom of the heart, what? The mouth you was. I told you all the time, the mouth will tell on you every time. Amen. Proverbs 13 and 3 says, self control means controlling the tongue. Amen. 
Amen. Psalm 118 11 says, I've hidden your word where? In my heart that I might not what? Sin against you. And we're going to finish this God of hand praise. Amen. Amen. Come here, son. Come here. Amen. Amen. Got to do what I feel, y'all. Amen. 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 We're going to take help.